Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about three uh, cat breeds. This is Burmese, Siamese and Tonkinese. And uh, this video probably would be interesting to uh, people who has uh, cats, who want to learn more about these breeds, uh, how to breed these uh, cats and what you can expect if you uh, interbreed them. And also this video uh, can be interesting to those people who just study genetics because this is a classical textbook example of the co-dominance. So uh, on the left we have a breed that we call Burmese and this is uh, Siamese and this is Tonkinese. Burmese breed is pure breed. Siamese breed is pure breed and Tonkinese, uh, those it is considered to be a breed, but actually this is crossbreed. This, this is crossbreed of these two pure breeds. So if we um, cross Burmese with Siamese, we are going to get Tonkinese. And now uh, about a genetic of this trait. First of all, uh, what do you think the color of the uh, Siamese cat? Siamese cat actually normal uh, color would be black, but as you see from this picture, uh, the color of the Siamese is mostly white, only extremes are black. And this is uh, due to mutated gene, gene that specifies order of the amino acids in uh, polypeptide of the enzyme that we call terzinase that play uh, important role in production of the uh, pigment melanin. So uh, because this uh, mutation that change one amino acid uh, that is glycine to arginine we call such mutation missense mutation and uh, this enzyme becomes uh, heat sensitive. So uh, above threshold that is very close to body temperature uh, it becomes non-functional and uh, pigment would be, wouldn't be produced. That's why core of the body of the Siamese cats has white color and extremes that, that has uh, lower body temperature as you see are black. So this is because uh, temperature in these um, places of the body just lower and this enzyme functions normally. The same mutation is present in Burmese breed but maybe it's, it is not as obvious as in uh, Siamese, but uh, all the extremes like face and uh, ears, puffs, has a uh, color that is darker than core of the body. So uh, what is the uh, genotype of the Burmese, for example? As you know, all the genes present in two copies in diploid organism so this breed would have two genes that specify the color. This is uh, C and B would uh, specify this particular enzyme, uh, enzyme variation that we call uh, allele. So two the same type of alleles. This is pure breed. So uh, both alleles are the same. In Siamese breed we also has uh, two alleles that uh, code for enzyme but uh, this is going to be Siamese uh, variant of the allele and these two alleles CB and CS would be co-dominant. If we cross Burmese and Siamese on the genetic level we would get uh, two alleles for this locus. One would be CB and another one would be CS. Because these two alleles are codominant, uh, 
the color of the tonkiness would be intermediate between these two. So, uh, if we cross Burmese with Burmese, so genotype on the side would be the same. And if we build a Punnett square, as you see, all the litter would have the same genotype. CB, CB for uh, both alleles. Of course, uh, we wouldn't see any variation of the color pattern in the litter. By the way, probably uh, many of you heard stories that uh, female cat in one litter may have uh, kittens from different fathers. Is it true or not? Or maybe this is urban uh, stories? Actually, this is true. This is called heteropaternal superfecundation. When female cat uh, may produce uh, or may have uh, kittens from different fathers in one litter. So if you uh, a cat breeder, after you mate your uh, cat with a desirable uh, another male cat, don't let her go on the street because she still can mate with other male cats and uh, you wouldn't get uh, what you expect in the litter. So uh, next let's see what we have with Siamese. This is also pure breed. If we cross one Siamese with another Siamese, so genotype would be the same. And of course, result of such a cross would be a litter where all the kittens also would be Siamese. So they would have two alleles that is the same and color pattern of course would be the same as uh, of the parents. So uh, on one side this would be male, on the other side this is female and as you see 100% of the progeny would have the same color pattern. But what would happen if we cross one Tonkinis with another Tonkinis? Are we going to get the same uh, all the litter of the uh, kittens that look the same? This is not so. So take a look. We have uh, another cat that is C B and C S. Once again, when we build a Punnett square, we can see all the possible genotypes in the following generation. So here we would have C, B and C, B. And in the next cell we would have C, B from one parent and C, S from the other parent. Here we would have uh, once again C B from one parent and C S from the other parent and C S and C S here. So according to our Punnett square, uh, we would have one quarter that is going to be Burmese, as you see the same genotype as here, and one quarter we can expect the same genotype as uh, Siamese and two quarters or 50 percent of the litter we can expect that uh, kittens are going to be also Tonkinese. That's why it is not correct to call uh, Tonkinese a pure breed because when we cross one Tonkinese cat, uh, for example, male here and female on this side, in the litter we would see the trait would segregate. 
and uh, definition of the pure breed that uh, all the traits, uh, phenotypic traits, traits that we can see with our eyes should be stable and should be the same generation after generation. And we do not see this picture as uh, in these two examples. So these two are pure breeds and this one is hybrid between these two breeds. A couple more notes about um, color of the eyes. In Burmese usually it is yellow. In uh, Siamese always blue. And uh, in Tonkinese uh, it can be uh, variation, can be uh, different colors of the eyes. And uh, blue eyes in uh, Siamese, not because uh, Siamese has different uh, variation of um, allele that uh, produce uh, blue pigment, but blue eyes are due to dilution of black pigment. Uh, maybe it's not obvious that when you dilute black you can get blue, but actually this is just um, can be explained on the physical properties of the matter. For example, if you would take a transparent glass and would break it to small pieces, uh, those pieces are still would be transparent, but if you crush it uh, really good to uh, small fine particles, you would see that is uh, not going to be transparent anymore and you would perceive it as white color. So uh, actually uh, this is just due to uh, mutated uh, tyrosinase gene and uh, not enough uh, black pigment is produced so eyes are blue. By the way, uh, as you probably know also that many cats that is uh, white cats that we call albino, especially if those uh, cats has blue eyes, they also uh, very often has a uh, hearing problem. Uh, some of them are deaf, because melanin also plays important role in uh, formation of uh, nerve tissues, and uh, this uh, doesn't apply to uh, Siamese cats, Siamese cats doesn't have this problem as many uh, albino cats has. By the way, uh, would you say that uh, Siamese cats are naturally black or white or albino? Actually, we uh, have to consider Siamese cats as albino. Uh, if you think that albino have uh, to be completely white and should have red eyes, this is not so, because uh, albinism has many different grades. And I forgot to mention that this type of coloration we call point coloration, and what is funny is that it is caused by point mutation of the uh, DNA uh, gene that uh, specifies tyrosinase enzyme, uh, enzyme that play important role in uh, uh, melanin, that is pigment, black pigment production. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.